welcome to this video. If you're new to my channel, my name is Arida. I create lifestyle, fashion and beauty content. So if that's something you like to watch and it's down your street, then hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out because I can see what percentage of people are subscribed and I can tell you a big percentage that come on my channel aren't. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on upload. But Today I have an exciting video for you which is a very very old school kind of video you probably have seen from the title and the thumbnail but today I'm going to take you through what's on my iPhone. I have always loved watching these kind of videos. I'm a very nosy person. Um, I love seeing how people organize their phones especially like since we got the iOS 14 update um, like a wee while back. Now you can really personalize your iPhone and I have just literally today updated my phone to the new iOS 15.4 so there's all these like really cute new emojis that will just like pop up on the screen for you to see um, so yeah I'm really excited to start using them but let's just jump straight into it. First things first the actual phone this is a iPhone X and I've had this for honestly a few years now this is quite a good phone because it's lasted me I think maybe three or four years now and the battery life is still absolutely great which surprises me every single day but honestly I've just looked after it and I really like it you know the camera isn't you know the most advanced or the best um, and I definitely think in the near future potentially this year I will be upgrading um, so watch out for another video <laughs> but yeah for now this is perfect I love it and you know it does the job it helps me with my everyday tasks. First thing my lock screen is this really cute love heart and when you unlock my phone this is the first thing you see. Um, my wallpaper just says self love, self care. I'll pop it up on the screen. It was one I literally just made on Canva in about three seconds. <laughs> um, I just think it's quite cute. Um, so yeah this is the first screen and to be honest I like my phone to be quite minimal, quite aesthetic um, and calming because it can get very crazy very quickly um, especially going through like a hundred apps and yeah I really like to have a very kind of simple starting page and as you can see I have one app on there and that's Notion. I love Notion. I've raved about Notion for quite a while now. I only learned how to use it in January um, and yeah I'm obsessed. <laughs> Uh, so yeah I have Notion on there and that's kind of the first thing I go on in the morning I like to make my to-do list um, but when you scroll one to the left um, you have two widgets my top widget is a calendar um, in this cute font it's just a normal widget calendar like from the Widgetsmith app and I have a photo which I took from Paris. I think this was taken from the Eiffel Tower but I could be totally wrong. It might have been Arc de Triomphe but I can't remember. I just love this photo. Um, so I have that and that's just what's on my screen to the left. Um, and then going to the right of my main screen I have another couple of widget smiths. I love changing these around um, depending on the season or the month if there's anything specific exciting happening in the month I love changing them up so I think my next change would probably be spring um, so yeah but for now I absolutely love them I've had them for a wee while now and I love them I also haven't addressed the bottom four apps um, as you can see I've got Instagram on there, WhatsApp, Pinterest, um, this is YouTube Studio. I love my Pinterest app. Um, I just find like even if I go on it in the morning it really gives me a lot of motivation and I just read all these like nice positive quotes and just get inspired to be creative during the day. And I actually have one favourite board right now which is my spring board. This is my mood boards for spring, for outfits, for Instagram, just how I kind of see myself during spring. Um, so this is my little board, I'll give you a little overview. So that's Pinterest. Scrolling along one, I have, this is I would say kind of my main front page. It's not the one I use as the front page, as you saw I use my kind of like notions plain background as my main page. But this one has everything I could need and easy access. Um, so I have, again, a Notions little widget. And then here I have my mails. I have both a Gmail and an iCloud, so I like to keep them together. My banking. I have 
networks. So I have LinkedIn, Facebook Messenger, phone and text message all in one little bubble. Then navigations, I have both Google Maps and Safari Maps. Um, then I've got my camera that I tend to kind of reach for quite often. Then photos, Safari and music. My photos and music are shortcuts. Um, if you don't know what they are, shortcuts are basically just like um, way to create a shortcut to an app, but to, you can like customize the face. Um, so here I've customized photos and music to little white ones with just a photo and music. So if you just go into music, it just says music shortcut and it takes you to music. It's great. And then scrolling one along, this is my Instagram slash content slash work area. Um, so I have four folders and they tend to kind of follow along in a path. So my first folder is photography. And in photography, I have two main apps. I've got LensBuddy and I've got Huji. LensBuddy is great if you are a content creator or looking to start up creating content on Instagram specifically. Huji, I think we all know and love. Um, I've just had that app for probably a few years now, it's great. Following along, I've got editing. So my editing folder, I have a few apps which are used to edit both video for TikTok and Reels and Instagram. Um, so I used to use Lightroom um, when I had like a full Lightroom subscription, but to be honest, there's so many apps out there that can do pretty much the same thing, but just so much easier. And I know I'm gonna get so much hate because Emmy and Sophie, my besties, they love Lightroom. I'm just like, oh, it's just a bit too much hassle. But I use Color Tone as my main editing. I've got Afterlight for kind of adjusting light if a picture is really, really dark. Afterlight is so good at just making it so much brighter, but like really retaining the quality of the photo, which is quite hard to do. Um, and I've got Facetune. Um, Everyone knows what Facetune is. It's great for like making backgrounds whiter, blurring backgrounds, like, you know, really kind of basic things. Um, and then I've got CapCut, which recently downloaded. Cannot believe I edited TikToks without it. Favorite app going, <laughs> it's great. So in my uploading folder, I have a few apps again. I've got Canva, Feed Preview, Post Builder, and Brand, Ambas Brand Ambassador, which Technically that's not for uploading, but Canva, Feed Preview and Post Builder are. Canva is great for stories, for any kind of graphic things you want to do. Feed Preview is, you kind of get it from the name to be honest, it's a feed preview app. Um, there's so many of these out there and as you can see it's not loaded my already posted photos, but this is what my feed's going to be looking like for the next couple of days. Um, so a little sneak preview. Post Builder is um, an app which lets you type text with spaces. Um, I genuinely think Instagram have now updated um, their app where now you can actually just do it in the description, but previously you couldn't, so that's why I have that app. And then Brand Ambassador is absolutely fantastic. Most of my content friends use this app. You can work with so many different brands like Desenio, Popsocket, Naked, like you can just see all of them here. Um, there's a huge array of different brands. In the last folder is just printing. Um, this is Camera Connect, uh, Sprocket and Free Prints. Um, so they're just great apps to have, you know, if you're like connecting things, cameras or wanting to print photos. Um, that's just what I have there. And then on my final slide, I have entertainment, which has my music and podcasts, my YouTube and Netflix, and my vaccine passport, which I'm actually not sure why that's there. But um, yeah, I've just popped that on there. And that was again a shortcut because um, I didn't want to... Oh, your COVID status is no longer valid. Not sure why. But yeah, my COVID passport's on there as well. Not sure why it's under entertainment, but it's there. Um, and then of course I have like a bunch of other apps as well which aren't on my screen like Starbucks and um, Ringo and all these like not very aesthetic apps that I like to just you know hide. And that my friends is everything that's on my iPhone X. If there is any apps that you saw that I use that you'd love to try out let me know and also let me know if you use any apps that I really need to get because I love finding new apps and Honestly, I just find them through watching these videos, um, so let me know down in the comments. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a massive thumbs up 
it helps out my channel massively and I really really appreciate it and if you want to see more content from me then hit the subscribe button down below as well so you get notified every time I upload but for now thank you so much and have a nice rest of your day bye